Hi, my name is Mani Alikani. I am the Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR Channel. The topic of today's discussion is the position of the B band. If you remember from the last session, we ended up our session by starting to evaluate the factors that affect a two-couple system. And uh, the last one, we talk about the height of the V-band. Today, we're going to spend the session evaluating the position of the V-band. To understand the importance of the position of V-band in two-couple system, it would be interesting if we review the concept in one-couple system. Is the position of the V-band in one-couple system is important? We discussed that if, for example, we have a molar and a canine, and the molar has the two contact point attachment, in this example is a band, and the canine has a one contact point attachment, in this example is a button, and we construct a one couple system in the rigid wire, we will have a moment on the molar, and the vertical forces appear in the system to compensate for that moment and almost make a couple with the moment in opposite direction. The position of the V-band at this example is close to the molar. If we move the position of the V-band farther away, uh, we discussed that if we do not change the angle of the V-band, so that's not become another variable, so we keep the system exactly the same, we just move the V-band farther. The moment on the molar starts to decrease, and therefore the vertical forces that appear in system to compensate for the moment in the molar that has been decreased should be less. Nothing else is changing. So the magnitude of the forces and moment start to change. To the level that even if we get closer to the canine, and we don't change the angle of the V-band, the magnitude of the moment and forces decrease and drop even farther. What happens if we do the same thing in the two-couple system? Let's do it together. In two-couple system, let's assume we have a two bracket, exactly same width, same height, they are in the same line together, and they are in the same dimension. There is not that one in the second order view and the other one in third order view, but they are in the exactly same dimension. This uh, discussion that we're going to have only is correct if this premises has been maintained. If you change any of these factors, uh, this discussion will not be correct. What happens if I put a central V-band in the rigid wire between these two brackets? Uh, in this example, we have a premolar and a canine. Because the V-band is in the center, two equal moments appear toward the mouth of the V-band. They are opposite in direction, and because they cancel each other, they don't need any vertical forces in the system. And that's the correct answer. What happens if we move the V-band close to one of the tooth, for example, in this case, premolar, you would expect the moments on the premolar start to become larger, and the moment in the canine start to become smaller. Because the moment is smaller, now the equilibrium has changed. The vertical forces need to appear in the system to help the smaller moment to become equal to the large moment, and equilibrium appears in the system again. This trend continues. As we gradually moving the V-bands close to one of the tooth, in this example, premolar, the moment on the farther tooth, in this example, canine, starts to get less and less and less and less. Do you think it ever reached to the zero level? Yes. If, as you move the V-band closer and closer to the premolar, when you are almost about one-third the distance between these two brackets, the moment on the canine drop to very, very close to the zero become very negligible. At this moment, the only way that we can compensate and have the equilibrium in the system for this large moment that appears in the premolar, you need to have your larger vertical forces. Is this system reminds you of something? Yes, it is very similar to the one couple system. You have only one couple in one side and you have no moment on the other side. Uh, even though in both sides you have two contact attachment, it at this specific moment, it looks like one couple system. Now, what happens if you continue your journey and move the V-band even closer to the premolar? Is the moment on the other bracket stays zero? No, it's actually a, another moment in opposite direction that starts to appear and gradually starts to get larger. Because now the vertical forces need to compensate for these two moments that are in the same direction, the vertical forces become very large. I will come back to this concept because this is, is actually at the time that the V-band start to demonstrate the characteristic of step bands. But why this happens? Why all of a sudden 
the moment start to change direction? The answer to this question is very simple. As we are moving B band to closer to one tooth, the angle of activation on that tooth increases and continue to increase. So you expect in the moments to start to get larger and larger. Similar to one couple system that as you're moving the V-band closer or farther, the angle of activation uh, accordingly increase or decrease and the moment in that tooth start to change. But what about the tooth that is farther away from the V-band that we are moving away from it? Uh, in that one, the angle of activation decrease, decrease, decrease. It reached a point that angle of activation in that tooth, when you are in one third of distance between two brackets, is become almost zero. Uh, you may say, how that's possible? Uh, especially if I'm putting the wire before I'm engaging into brackets, it seems that the wire makes the similar angle of act activation not only in this side, but toward the farther away tooth that is canine in this example. And because of that, you're expecting there should be at least some moment in the system. To see it better, let's engage that wire first in the premolar. If you do that, you notice the end of the wire, it will drop below the canine. Now, grab the end of the wire and try to bring it up to engage it on the canine. By the time that you are close to the height of the canine, you will see that the wire is actually stays parallel to the slot of the bracket. It doesn't make any angle with the bracket anymore. And that's the reason that if you are engaging for a period of time, the moment would be zero. Pay attention to this for a period of time. Time plays an important role in the two-couple system, and we need a dynamic analysis, and a static analysis doesn't really take us that far. So, for a period of time, the moment on the K9 would be zero. Now, if you get even closer to the premolar at this stage, now if you are engaging the end of the wire to the K9, you will see the wire actually make a reverse angle of activation with the K9. Therefore, it will have a moment that is reversing direction toward outside of the mouth of the V-band. And at this stage, the V-band has started to show the characteristic of a step band. I hope you enjoyed the position of the V-band discussion. Uh, please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. And please don't forget to uh, press the like button. Uh, in future sessions, we will concentrate on different factors and variables that may affect the two-couple system. Thank you again.